why you need this book. Executive, a person with senior managerial responsibility in a business organization. Oxford American College Dictionary. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to ask leadership expert John C. Maxwell a question about business leadership. In addition to writing over 80 books, John has built and sold multiple successful businesses and led large organizations throughout his career. At the time, I was a struggling new business owner. I had been in the executive seat for many years before starting my business, but there's something about creating something from nothing that makes you question everything you ever thought you knew to be true. I wrote down my question, and I'll share it with you. Hey, John, I want to ask you a question specifically about business building. I know that you have built multiple businesses, and I want to ask you whether you have ever had a time when you hit a wall. If so, how did you push through? John was very gracious in his response to me. He reassured me that he is constantly hitting walls. John estimated that he hit walls weekly, if not daily. He called it part of business, and especially business building. John gave me six bits of wisdom that have been a touchstone for me over the last several years. John shared, I've always said problems surround every opportunity you have, and every problem is surrounded by opportunity. When I go into a problem, I look for the opportunity. I know there might be some walls or issues when I go into an opportunity. You must assess the walls. Now, when I hit the wall, instead of backing up and running harder to hit it again, I ask myself, okay, what's the wall? I try to define what the wall is. I try to determine where I hit it. If I can do those two things, I can probably knock the wall down or go around the wall or put a door in the wall. I can do something to get through it, but I've got to figure out what it is and why I ran into it in the first place. Those are the first two things I do. And I have found that there's an answer for every wall I hit. There's a way to get over it, around it, under it, or through it. John went on, you must appreciate the wall. And I think many people don't appreciate their problems. Being an impatient person, problems feel like a delay to me. But that often gives me some great lessons. The law of reflection states, learning to pause allows growth to catch up with you. I like to say, I must slow you down to speed you up. Too many businesses are running back into the wall as fast as they can get up. Never taking a moment to pause and figure out why they're running into the wall to begin with. Reflection turns experience into insight. Something else to remember is that it's uphill all the way. You must understand that it's uphill all the way in business, and it's never going to be easy, and there will always be walls. Expect walls. When you hit a wall, if you think, I didn't expect this to happen, then get out of business. Mark, the CEO of my five businesses, and I talked today for five minutes. He told me two things that are both bad news. Okay, well, the only difference between that call and yesterday's call is that yesterday he only told me one piece of bad news. Tomorrow, he may tell me three things. I don't know, but it's business. John continued, life has problems and walls. And I have discovered that the people who succeed have a mindset that says, this is what life is all about. Looking at problems, figuring them out, and fixing them. That's what I do. And what I've found is that once you become a wall scaler or put a door in a wall, you get through it. The next wall doesn't intimidate you. Since I've had thousands of walls in the progress of my life, it's just a wall. There's an answer and I will find a way like thousands of times before this. With emotional tenacity, you will be successful. That's emotional tenacity and stability. If you have it, you'll be successful. If you don't have it, after a few hits into the walls, you'll quit. I have found that emotional tenacity and the pure realization that I will have problems allow me to get through those problems a lot quicker.